In this video, we will be training on advanced temperature control set point understanding with the Iponic controller. By default, the Iponic has two temp set points enabled day and night for basic elementary temperature control. But in reality, you can program up to three set points for modifying your climate with three different temperature control levels within a 24-hour period. Now to set up set points, simply from the home screen hit Enter Menu, go to Current Set Points, and then you want to go to number one, Temp Set Points. Now in the Temp Set Points screen, you have two large numerical values. You have the heat set point and you have the cool set point. So if temp rises above the cool set point, cool stages engage. If temp falls below the heat set point, heat stages engage. Now the stage width or stage separation is the number of degrees between cooling and heating stages. Now if the temp rises beyond the set point of 74, you immediately enter cool stage 1. If it rises 3 degrees above the set point 74, the controller will activate cool stage 2. 3 degrees higher, activate cool stage 3, and so forth, systematically turning on your equipment to counter the temperature increase and reduce it back within the normal set point value plus the dead band. Now to change your cooling and heating values, you have button number 5 to change your heating set point, and you have button number 6 to change your cool set point. The menu will clockwise increases, counterclockwise decreases the values. To increase the increments, just press button number 1 to go from tenths, 1, 10 positions at a time. You can also switch to day periods by pressing button number four. It's from day to night. And right now you have two set points enabled. Night is from 60 to 72. Day is from 65 to 74. Now, button number eight gives you the option to change your temp settings. Right now, your stage width is at three, and the dead band is at one. So when the temperature drops below the cool set point, the system remains in cool stage one until the temperature drops below the dead band. Now, the dead band prevents equipment from oscillating on and off continuously. When employed, it prevents the cooling or heating equipment from turning off too soon to keep the temperature of the environment within its new stage. Note, the stage width must always be wider than the dead band. And finally, we'll discuss DIF and ramping. So let's go ahead and go to set point times. Hit back. We want to scroll down to number five. Set point times. Now in the set point time screen, here you see your day start time and your night start time. Set point times display your 24 hour set point time period. Ramping and DIF have to be enabled. Now to enable these features, we'll do the following. Simply hit back. And we want to hit back again, go to System Setup, go to Advanced Setup, and then we're going to go to Advanced Set Point Settings. As you can see, your DEIF and ramp is disabled. We want to go ahead and enable DIF and ramping. Hit the Home button, save it. Now, just hit OK go to your set point screen and then go to set point times. Now in the set point times screen you see more options now located on bottom as well as an option to input your DIF start time. Now number one button set DIF time is the difference between day and night set point times. You can put it within the daytime period or you can put it within the nighttime period. You decide. And what we're going to do is here is have your DIF start time at 12 p.m. Now at the bottom you have number five set DIF ramp, number six set day ramp, and number seven set night ramp. If you hit 
But number five, you have a value zero, and zero indicates immediate temp change between times. 30 means a 30 minute transition between temp set points. And 90, which is the max ramp time, equals one and a half hours transition between temp set points. For now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna reduce this ramp time to 30, hit okay, and change this ramp time to 30. So we have a 30 minute ramp time across all set points. Now ramping gives you a temperature ramp between the time set points. So when each set point time period ends, it ends with a ramp time. The feature allows a smooth temp transition within your grow room and avoids aggressive heating and cooling stages so that the plants don't experience temperature shock. It also saves energy, which translates directly into lower operating costs. So right now we have 30 minute ramps on all our set points. Now that we have them set, let's go ahead and go back, save our changes, and go back to temp set points. And now that we're in temp set points, we have our daytime period. Our daytime period is 65 to 74. It's undergoing temp changes from the nighttime set point values. Going to DIF, 65 to 77, starting at 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. With this range, slowly transitioning due to our ramp, gradually increasing targeted temperature values. For example, with the cool set point increasing, you also see your temp stage values increase as well. And finally, our nighttime period starting from 5 p.m. to 6 a.m., transitioning to cooler temp ranges, both in cool and heat set points and staging set point values. And that's our video in advanced temperature control set point understanding with the Iponic controller.